is a year of fear for some, a year of uh, you know, bad news or whatever. But one thing is that we are turning back to say thank you Lord for every situation that we have to go through. Everything that God has given us. Because we know the Lord is still in the throne of heaven. And we know He holds the future. My God is a good God. Amen. Luke chapter 4, verse 30. You know, Luke chapter 4 is, is, a, is a chapter where Jesus starts His ministry in this um, Gospel of Luke. He starts his, his ministry. Before His ministry, the Bible says, the Spirit led Him to the wilderness where he was tested by the enemy, by the devil. For 40 days he was hungry, and 40 days he, he, he went without food or drink, or, you know, uh, he, was, he was in the wilderness, where the devil has raised so many questions, and he answered them with the word of God. Hallelujah. And after, the, after all those things, Bible says in verse 13 that when the devil had finished all the tempting, he left him until an opportune time. For a certain time, the enemy left Jesus without any further questions. Hallelujah. See, when, when we read this verse, we know, you could imagine, I, I was asking the Lord, how long did the enemy left him? Uh, how long? No. See, when you read in, in this chapter itself, Luke chapter uh, 4, when you will read down carefully, in the same chapter, he makes some declarations in synagogue. In the same chapter, people turned against him and they planned to kill him in the same chapter. In the same chapter, they, they plan to push him from the top of the building and kill him. And Jesus went in front of them unharmed. Hallelujah. In the same chapter, the enemy came back and influenced the people. Hallelujah. See, in, in this year, maybe there are a lot of people, there are many, many of us asking, Lord, how long this battle has been going on? How long? Ups and downs, when we think it's over, it's all coming back again. When we think that the battle is over, it's coming again. Another enemy, another enemy, another battle, another one. And in every battle, when God gives a victory, the next one will be waiting. Hallelujah. This is the funny thing of, of, of life. Such is life. Hallelujah. See, I'm so, um, um, one, one person in the Bible, who's King David, so, so unique in his call and in, in his ways, walking with the Lord. And when you read 2 Samuel chapter 21, it says, Once again, there was a battle between Philistines and Israel. David went down with his men and fought against Philistines and he became exhausted. Hallelujah. You know which chapter is this? 2 Samuel chapter 21. When did this war start? 1 Samuel 17. First time, first, from 1 Samuel 17, the day he met Goliath, you know, when Goliath is down, the war is not over. When one is over, another one came. Then that is over, another came, one came. Hallelujah. A unique man of war. A man who was used to the battle. Hallelujah. In every victory, God's name was glorified. Hallelujah. When you read this chapter, it's such a wonderful. Palestine uh, you know, against the Philistines and he became exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. He's not weak because the Lord is with him, but he became exhausted. See, so much of that, one after the other, kings and nations, one after the other. When God gives him victory, 
and that is like all done another one comes up and he, 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 will, he will claim the victory over that enemy and somehow he will say that is over then another one will come another Philistine will come another king will come in everything is settled Saul will come hallelujah his own people is turning around you know one after the other problem after the problem hallelujah the Christian life is not always a garden of flowers, you know, where there is nothing not happening all around. But the moment anointing came on David, hallelujah, he is not choosing the war. The enemy chooses him as an opponent every time. Hallelujah. Battle chooses, chooses David. Hallelujah. It is not, you know, sometimes we say that it is not I that will choose all the battle, but when you, every time you feel that, hey, why everything is against me? Why every word is against me? Why things are against me? Hallelujah. When one thing is over, another thing comes up. When that is over, another thing comes up. Hallelujah. In 2020 or 21, we may be feeling the same. Hallelujah. But in every thing, in every uh, situation that David gone, had gone through. When you read this word, he says, Philistine had been the pain of you know, David became exhausted. And 16, verse 16 says, and easy Beno, one of the descendants of Rapha, whose bronze spear had weighed 300 shekels, and who had, who was armed with a new sword, said he would kill David. But Abishai, son of Zerubba, came to David's rescue. He stuck Palestine down and killed him. Hallelujah. David is exhausted. He don't have that, that enthusiasm going behind the enemies anymore. Because he's exhausted. Hallelujah. He's going as it has felt that God this is enough. He cannot go. In that moment, if in this chapter some others stood up and chose and chased the enemy for David. God raised others in this battle. Others. When you know, David never expected that. He said, a man from no way came, you know, but Abizai, son of Zerubham, came to David's rescue. He stuck the Palestine down and killed him. Then David went so to him, saying, Never will you go out with us in the battle, so that the land of Israel will not be extinguished. Was it? In the course of time, there was another battle. See, one battle is over, and one man came to rescue. David says, Okay, that's fine. Now, now it's all holidays, all Christmas. Come on. You know, he's settling down. The same chapter, the next verse says, Another battle is coming. Hallelujah. Another one. And the course of that, there was another battle with Philistines and Job. And at the time, she became the he Heshekite ki uh, killed Sam, one of the descendants of Rab. In the other battle with Philistines and Job, Elhan, the son of Jay, the Benjamite, killed the brother of Goliath. Hallelujah. In every battle, when David felt exhausted, you can see people God raised for him. This is the favor of God. Hallelujah. In every battle, when you feel that Lord, this is enough, I cannot take this again. The favor of the Lord will follow. Hallelujah. When one battle comes in, in 2020, the world that maybe you may have gone through a new, very different battle. And when that is all over, hallelujah, the favor of God will come upon your life. That will, that will hold you. That will strengthen you. From nowhere that you have thought, the help will come. Hallelujah. That is the fact that is the way the Lord works. In every battle, hallelujah, 2020, 2021, you will see ups and downs, ups and downs. Hallelujah. Through the, through the mountains and through the valleys, you will see the favor of God. From nowhere. From nowhere. Hallelujah. The Bible says in, 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 the, in the book of Luke, 
when people were planning to kill Jesus at that time, something happened. The favor of the Father was upon us, upon Jesus Christ. People planned against him. They couldn't do anything. They wanted to push him. Bible says he walked through the midst, untouched. Hallelujah. Let me declare it today. I will be untouched. I will be untouched. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard against you. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God will lift me up in the right hand. Hallelujah. When there are floods coming like, like enemies, when there are enemies are coming just like floods against me, Hallelujah. I will see the hand of God, the favor of God. Hallelujah. That is, the, that is called the favor of God. Hallelujah. You didn't ask for it, but it comes at the right season. You never prayed for it, but it shows up at the right season. Hallelujah. The help that comes in our life without asking, without expecting. Hallelujah. So, every night, you know, David found favor of God in every battle. Hallelujah. When you, when you go through certain battles, that is why David says, my Lord is my rock and my shelter. My God is my fortress. He will rescue me. Hallelujah. He is my help in time of me. He will hide me under the sea. Why? In every battle, when you decide to stand up, the favor of God will cover you. Hallelujah. In every battle. You cannot expect there won't be battle. Hallelujah. But when there is a battle, this is what the principle of the Bible, this is what the Lord, the Lord speaks. His favor will come upon you. Hallelujah. Favor is something that, that comes from some, something that is unexpected. Hallelujah. I will see the favor of God. That he said in this year, years to come. I will see the favor of God. Hallelujah. There was a lady called Ruth in the, in the, in the, in the book of Ruth. Hallelujah. This lady, Bible says, you know, she lost everything. Everything. Her husband, everything was gone. But she, she desired to stick with her mother-in-law. How many of the ladies would stick to the mother-in-law? That's the first miracle in the book of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we lift your hands and say, Hallelujah? Yeah, we have been fine. Hallelujah. See, she said to her mother and said, I will be with you. Because, not because of who you are, because of the Lord that you serve is the living God. He is the true God of Israel. I will stick with you. And the favor of God starts to follow her. I will say, she walked in one field. There was a man, and you know, the one first day she went as, as, as a homeless, as a beggar. You know, she doesn't have anything. She just came to pick the grains that had fallen in the ground. Hallelujah. But the favor of God was upon her. Hallelujah. Favor of God will follow you when you decide to stand in this battle. When you decide to stand up. Favor of God. Hallelujah, when you are asking how long, Lord, how long the battle will go up, go up, down, go up, go up again and again, this is all coming back. But in every battle, God's favor will be upon your life. Hallelujah, in every battle, hallelujah, God's favor. There was a man called uh, Jacob in the Bible, hallelujah, years and years of loss, years and years, battling, battling, battling for nothing. Hallelujah, he thought it's all over. Because I've been battling for too long. Two long years I've been battling. Hallelujah. And one fine day he was fighting. The name Jacob means he has prevailed fighting with man and God. Hallelujah. This is the battle that we have to have. A, a battle for, for the blessings of God. For the favor of God. Hallelujah. This man stood and had prayed all night. He didn't want to leave the angel of God. Hallelujah. He said, I will not leave you because I have been going through this battle for too long. I have been going through this ups and downs of my life too long. Hallelujah. I cannot bear this years and years. Hallelujah. But one thing Jacob of God was, even in the house of Laban, a favor of God followed him. Because wherever he was, I will say, he excelled. 
Everybody say, excel. Excel. Hallelujah. This is the main principle of the Bible. Wherever you are, you will excel. That is the favor of God. Joseph was in the, in the prison. He excelled. Hallelujah. He was in the pit, but he was noticed. He was not forgotten because there is a spirit of excellence upon this man. Hallelujah. Spirit of excellence. The anointing of excellence. Hallelujah. The anointing of excellence will bring you out of the forest. Out, out of wherever you are. Because the, the, the anointing of excellence will attract the, the call of God in your life. Hallelujah. He was hidden in the bushes. But when the prophet of God, Samuel, came to Jesse's house, there was a man with a spirit of excellence that belongs to this house. Hallelujah. The call will come behind you. That is called the, the anointing of excellence. The spirit of excellence in you. Hallelujah. The favor unlocks the spirit of excellence in every area. Hallelujah. You may be, a, you may be an engineer. You may be a, a trading, uh, running your own business or whatever you Hallelujah. Wherever, whatever profession you are, plumber or, or, a, or, a, or a builder or whatever. But whichever trade you are, you will excel because of the favor of God upon your life. Hallelujah. You will be noticed. Because not because of who you are, because that is what is on your head. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. Can you lift your hands and receive it? Wherever I am, I will excel in whatever I do. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has promised, when you lay your hands, I will bless you. Hallelujah. Whatever you lay your hands, I will bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This man, David, every war. God was with him. He saw the favor of God. In every war, hallelujah, when enemies came behind him, somehow you can see a favor, a story of a favor behind every battle. Amen. Hallelujah, would you say, in every of my battle, I turn around and I see a favor somewhere being released. Hallelujah. Maybe through the sickness, battle of sickness, I see the favor of God was released in the year 2020, 2021, 2018, hallelujah. Then we all, we all always count the battles. We never count the favor that was released, hallelujah. You know, certain areas, we sometimes we forgot what we were praying for, hallelujah. It was all answered, but we sometimes forget it, hallelujah. We sometimes forget how we came out of it, and how. Untouched. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands and say, because of the favor of the Lord, because of His favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what it happens. Sometimes when the favor of God comes upon your life, you sometimes forget the battles that you have gone through. Hallelujah. Battles that you had to go through. The emotional battles that you had gone through in, in, the, in the past. You forgot, forget it. How? Because the favor covered you. Because of his favor, it strengthened you. Because of his favor, came as a help. Hallelujah. See, when David was exhausted, because he has seen so much of blood, he has seen so much of war. Hallelujah. Something happened, by the way, in between. Um, we have a testimony from Queensland. Because last week we were praying here and uh, um, the Lord was showing a lump, a tumor. Hallelujah. Somebody was praying for that. And there was a miracle. Last uh, week this man went to the doctor and there was no tumor in the body. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together? Hallelujah. This is what the Lord did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are no boundaries for the church. Hallelujah. Let me put a louder clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. For every sickness in the name of Jesus, God will give you all glory. All glory. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord is doing. Beyond boundaries, God will release you. Hallelujah. Every battle, you will see the favor of God. Every battle. Hallelujah. That is, that is, the, that is the principle of the Bible. Hallelujah. Sometimes we read this verse. It says, enemy left you. For how long? For a short while. For a short while. Why? 
to bring him another plan on whatever comes. We will stand up for him. Hallelujah. Because we know the hand of the Lord is upon our life. We know that there is help coming in our life. Hallelujah. In every, every in area of life, you can see there were men after men. Hallelujah. Coming for the help. In, verse, in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, something very significant, a, a blessing upon Jesus Christ himself was. As Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in the favor of God and men. Hallelujah. Can we, can we claim it today? For the new year, hallelujah, this is the, this is the last growing in wisdom, stature, and in the favor with God and man. Hallelujah. Can we say, I will have favor with my God. In, in the coming days, I will see the favor of God, and I will see favor of man. Hallelujah. God will turn hearts for your favor. That is how the Lord will do. Hallelujah. In the new season, you will see favor of God in different ways. Through men, through situations, through, through every area of life. Hallelujah. We receive the favor of God. This year, when you turn back, you can say, you know, this year, the last couple of years, it's, it's been uh, a life changer, right? Uh, a completely different than what it was. Can you ever imagine where entering a bank wearing a mask? Hallelujah. In 2015, they're going to shoot you if you wear a mask entering a bank or an airport like that. Hallelujah. Thinking that you're hiding your face for some reason. But now you can't take it out. Hallelujah. And every, even before getting out of the house, you have to really better you check the news, what's going on. Is there a lockdown or anything? Any restriction? Everything changed. Hallelujah. Maybe 2020, 21 was a year of fear, failures, or frustrations, or anything. But turn back and say, these were the years of God's favor. Hallelujah. We are not counting the fear factor, we are not counting the frustration factor, but we are lifting our hands, thanking Him for the favor of God that He has in us. Why? Because we are still here. Hallelujah. We sit Him and praise Him. Hallelujah. His favor has brought us thus far. We, before we are entering to the new season, we will see the favor of God and the favor of men in every area. Hallelujah. This is the this is the promise that God is going to give us. Hallelujah. A favor of favor of God in every situation that we are going through. A, a, a supernatural favor. Hallelujah. In our workplaces, in the, the people that we meet, in every area, we will see His favor. His favor. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 3, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them across your name. Hallelujah. Two things, let love and faithfulness. Love and faithfulness. Hallelujah. Everybody say love and faithfulness. Love and faithfulness. Bind it across your name. Write them in the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Hallelujah. What a wonderful verse is that. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 3. Write it down somewhere and say Proverbs chapter 3 and 3. Hallelujah. I will win the favor of God. I will win the favor of men. Hallelujah. This is what is when you are faithful, when you stick to the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the Lord has promised that He is going to show faith through Him. And to men. In every area, we will start seeing the favor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 8, Apostle Paul is another other character in the Bible. Where he had to go every, many, many battles in his life. Many battles. When one is over, another comes up. When one is over, another comes up. Another enemy. God upgrades the enemies. God upgrades the enemy. Hallelujah. The, he won't see the same enemy, but he will see a stronger enemy always. Hallelujah. According to the anointing and according to his faithfulness, he will see a new challenge, new challenge. But every challenge, he found the favor of God. 
I must say, Paul, you know, in Romans chapter 8, it's a gem chapter in, in, in the New Testament. A, chapter, a gem. And uh, it says uh, in verse 35, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, or nakedness, or danger, or so? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We consider as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Can we declare it? Through all these things we are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. More than conquerors. Hallelujah. To be a conqueror is, you know, something that um, you have to win it. You have to work but to have a more than a conqueror is something of a next level. You know, my friend was uh, um, telling me an example of a more than a conqueror. We, we were having a casual chat. And what, what he was saying was, you know, he, he is, um, his wife um, is a housewife and she manages the house. And he, um, he had to work for all the living and everything. So, at the end of, you know, in, in certain areas, they get the monthly pay. And uh, when he brings, you know, the salary in the bank account comes, everything is gone. From the uh, month, you can see the day to one, first, second, third, the first week. You can see, when, when he goes to the office, you can see in the phone that certain pop-ups are coming. That uh, so much of my mom was gone into this target. Um, Maya, David Jones, and he's saying, what is happening? Then he knew that his wife is, has gone out of the house. And he was saying, I may be a conqueror, but my wife is more than a conqueror. She sits home, take the car, the second one, you know, they have two cars, always. And you know, that's how we're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was the conqueror on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Now we, we receive it and more makes us more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. He has done it on the cross of Calvary. He has won it all. Now what we do is we receive it by faith. Can you lift your hands and say, I will receive it by faith. That card, I receive it by faith. Hallelujah. I shop around for healing. I shop around for favor. I shop around for every mercy. I shop around for everything. Hallelujah. Because my Lord has done it on the cross of Calvary. And he has declared it is finished. Hallelujah. Can you say it is finished? It is finished in every battle. I will see the favor of God. I will see victory because his name is Jehovah Nizi. Hallelujah. My banner of victory. Hallelujah. In every situation, I will see that the Lord, name of the Lord is being accepted. Hallelujah. I will not be fearful, but I know that my favor of the Lord is upon my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says here in Romans 2, we will read down. In all things, we are more than conquerors, not through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor love, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, and neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our love. Nothing can separate me. Hallelujah. Nothing can separate me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are, we are turning back to, to the years. In this, in this last Sunday of this year. Hallelujah. Can we all stand up now and take a moment and say, Lord, I thank you for every battle that was in the last year. Every battle, every, every valley, every, every brokenness, whatever, whatever happened in, in the last year. Every fear that was turning around. But Lord, I turn back and say thank you for the favor that you have released. 
thank you for the faith that you have given me. We thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Your hand has brought us home. Just like David, we saw your hand while we were exhausted to what was going on around. Hallelujah. Can we open our hearts to the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Very soon we will be taking an offering. This is the last offering of this year. When we are putting this offering, Hallelujah, I don't, I don't like to tell about this, but I feel, I feel it in the Holy Spirit. That I, I give Him with a thankful heart. Saying, Lord, I thank you for your favor, Lord. When the enemy was making plans, I feel like I know that the Holy Spirit is speaking. When the enemy has made plans to humiliate you in front of us, when the enemy was making plans to crush you under the feet in front of many, the favor of God lifted you up. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Spirit moving right now. Lift your hand and say, The favor of God lifted me up. Favor of God. When the enemy had schemes to trap you down, to bring you down in between, in front of us, hallelujah, to make you a, 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 a subject of laughter in front of us, the favor of God helped you. The favor of God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. While we are worshiping now, we'll be taking the offerings right now. Hallelujah. This is a time that we say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. It's not about money, but we're going to say, Lord, I thank you for your faith. Thank you for listening. Before we close our broadcast, I would like to pray with you. Shall we close our eyes? Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for speaking to me today. Lord, I want to live for you. I repent of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me and cleanse me with the precious blood of your only begotten Son. Make me new, Lord. I want to live for you. Help me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer for the first time, the Bible says, God recognizes you as his own child. The Bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I encourage you to join a Bible-based church. If you're looking for a service near Melbourne, Australia, you're more than welcome to join our services online or in person. We are located in Hallam, Melbourne, Australia. God bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.